Welcome to the grammar class. Classification of noun. Today we are going to classify nouns into four. Proper noun, common noun, collective noun and material noun. Repeat. Proper noun, common noun, collective noun and material noun. Let's start with the proper noun. What is a proper noun? The name of a particular person, place or thing. It is a specific name given to a noun. In other words, we can say a noun that designates a particular person, place or thing. Once again, the name of a particular person, place or thing. It is the specific name given to a noun. Or we can say a noun that designates a particular person, place or thing. We call it proper noun. Now here are a few examples. Sujesh, Shiba, Neetu, Kerala, Madras, Patna, Toyota, Google, Facebook, Monday, Messages, Titanic, Berlin Wall, New York, Taj Mahal, War and Peace, and Mount Everest. These are all examples of proper nouns. You see, have you noticed that all these nouns begin with capital letter or block letter? A proper noun always begins with a capital letter. And if a proper noun has two parts, both the parts begin with a capital letter. That is why Berlin Wall, both the parts begin with capital letters. New York, same. Taj Mahal, T and M are capital letters. War and Peace, two parts. Both the parts begin with the capital. Mount Everest, M and E are used uh, in capital letters or used in block letters. So, a proper noun means the name of a particular or a specific person, place or thing. It begins with a capital letter. Got it. Now, uh, I think a few more examples are needed. So, I shall make a, another list. Look at this list. Michael Clark, Amazon, Mexico, Daily News, September, Dr. Ajish, Quick Roads, Wimbledon, Alex, Philips, Samsung, Nokia, Indian Bank, Air India, Pan American, Snickers, Michael Clark, a proper noun having two parts, Amazon, a proper noun, so the first letter capital, Mexico, same, Daily News, two parts, so D and N are capital letters, September, Dr. Ajish, two parts, so D and A capital letters, Quick Roads, again, having two parts, Wimbledon, Alex, Philips, Samsung, Nokia, Indian Bank, Air India, Pan American, and Snickers. Now comes the second division, common noun. Once again, common noun. It is the generalized version of a proper noun. A non-specific name given to a person, place, thing, etc. A common noun refers to a class, a class of entity. Common noun is not capitalized unless it comes at the beginning of a sentence or appears in a title. For example, player or cricket, city, horse, day, friend, etc. Player, any player can be called player. Cricket. The name of a game which is used in commons, like that is city. Any city can be called city. Horse, like the day, friend, movie, dog, doctor, doe, etc. Here are a few more nouns. Player, cricket, city, horse, day, friend, movie, doctor, doe, computer, leader, student, star, car, Bus, table, vegetable, tea, water, oil, road, news. 
these are generalized versions of proper nouns so for example player if you mention the name of a player it comes under proper noun cricket if you refer to a particular cricket then it comes under proper noun city if you say bombay then it comes under proper noun if city then common noun horse if we uh, mention the name of a horse then it comes under proper noun otherwise it is a generalized term horse like that day friend movie doctor door computer leader student star car bus table vegetable tea water oil road and news yes now comes collect you now and you should be very careful while using collect you nouns. people often commit mistakes for example see sheep it's collective form some used some some people will say a group of sheep a crowd of sheep like that no no that is not the right way to say it this correct form is flock flock of sheep like that bees or insects a collection of insects what do you call it a swam swam is a collective noun a swam of bees a swam of insects an army an army of soldiers like that an army of ants an army of frogs an army of eagles an assembly of clergy a band of musicians a barrel of monkeys a basket of fruits a batch of bread a battery of guns a swarm of bees or insects an army of soldiers an army of ants frogs eagles means an army of ants an army of frogs an army of eagles assembly of clergy assembly of clergy a band of musicians band of musicians basket of flowers basket of fruits a basket of fruits batch of bread batch of bread battery of guns bed of flowers bed of flowers from bottom to top battery of guns batch of bread basket of fruits band of musicians assembly of clergy an army of soldiers army of ants frogs eagles a swarm of bees swarm of insects here is another list <coughs> bouquet of flowers brood of chicken or brood of hens bunch of grapes bunch of keys bunch of banana cast of actors chain of events chest of drawers choir of singers class of students cluster of stars cluster of bombs clutch of x colony of ants frogs rats company of actors once again bouquet of flowers brood of chicken or brood of hens bunch of grapes bunch of keys bunch of banana cast of actors chain of events chest of drawers choir of singers class of students cluster of stars or bombs clutch of x colony of ants company of actors he is one more list 11 of cricketers fleet of ships fleet of boats flight of aeroplanes steps flight of steps gang of thieves gang of robbers herd of cattle hive of bees litter of kitten litter of pups or puppies library of books orchard of apple pack of dogs pile of books cure of arrows once again 11 of cricketers fleet of ships fleet of boats flight of aeroplanes flight of steps gang of thieves or robbers herd of cattle hive of bees litter of kitten or puppies library of books orchard of apple pack of dogs pile of books cure of arrows last in the list is material noun material noun means the name of a material from which things are made for example the box is made of wood means wood is the material which is used to make the box now look at the second example that is made of plastic it means the plastic is the material which is used to make that so i hope it is clear to you here are a few examples paper gold silver coal rubber 
food honey etc these are examples of material nouns so that's all see you in the next episode with another classification of noun till then